Welcome to the show. Uh, we are semi solo tonight. Uh, both kids are having some quiet time, which means they are nose deep in an iPad, uh, calming down. They just took their uh, evening baths and showers and things, and uh, they're chilling out. So, you gotta have some chill time. Um, Kyle, thank you uh, for this lovely beer. I'm assuming it's lovely because it's tired hands, and I love tired hands. Uh, I've heard some great things. Some people have already commented from my beer mail picture, uh, and apparently this is pretty good. So, Extra Extra Knuckle Mosaic Double IPA. This is tired hands. They always have, you know, how would you describe Tired Hands art? Because um, it's very uh, stylistic and in the same vein every time. Uh, it's definitely like the same look and feel, the same artist is behind it, I think, every time. Um, it's so like abstract and sort of gruesome and dreamlike and not always G-rated. But they're very consistent. Ah! They have a uh, very consistent look and feel. And uh, anywho, um, oh yeah, I am in pajama pants. I'm relaxing too. Maybe not in the iPad, but I'm relaxing. Cut me some slack. I know what you people are thinking. Um, so, Tired Hands is one of my favorite breweries. Definitely top three in the United States. It could be my fav. Oh, I already smell it. Oh, uh, so tired hands. It's it's in. Uh, 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 oh, good lord, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, according to the can, it's in Ardmore, Ardmore, Pennsylvania. Um, kids are making farting noises. Um, but so right up there in the top echelon of my IPA breweries of choice in the country, you have Tired Hands, you have Trillium, you have Other Half, you have Moonraker, you got to put Monkish in there. Um, there are definitely others. I know I'm not giving Colorado any love there, but uh, I haven't had that many. I need to seek out some Vale and some other things. Uh, Maine Brewing Company is great. Um, gosh, for IPAs, yeah, I mean, those, those are kind of the, I think that was five, those are probably top five for sure. The exact order is not consistent, it's, uh, you know, some of those beers move on to the top. Fieldworks is great too. Um, okay, let's talk color. Hazy, uh, one thing these guys do consistently is their beers are always, like, there's never, like, Oh, it's slightly hazy. It's either like West Coast style or hazy. And uh, when they're hazy, they're both feet in. And I appreciate that, you know? Um, and they all have this luscious mouthfeel. So I'm hoping that has, uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. So I don't know, it, I mean, it says a mosaic double IPA. I don't know if it's solely mosaic. I feel like they would say if it had uh, other stuff, but it's at least predominantly mosaic, and that's one of the most expressive uh, mosaic beers I've ever smelled. And mosaic's a great hop. I feel like any beers, any IPAs that tout mosaic, citra, and galaxy are like three hops, three varietals of hops that you should go after. Um, they're all just so, so tropical. Citra brings the pine as well. Um, uh, mosaic and galaxy can sometimes be a little on the danky side, but just really like juicy. And this is no no exception. I mean, you just get loads of like juicy ripe fruit. I mean, you name the varietal. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, maybe it's peachy, maybe it's kind of apricotty almost, but super tropical. I mean, this is like you walk into the Jamba Juice and you get that blast of just like fruit aromas. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, killer. 
So good. So, so good. It is absolutely amazing that in, I'm making an assumption here. I, I try not to research these beers ahead of time. Um, so maybe I, I'll look into it before I actually post the video, but uh, it's amazing that this doesn't have a fruit addition or something else. Like the fact that they can make a beer taste like this with just hops, malt, water, I mean yeast, it's kind of insane because there are so many people doing the same thing and it doesn't taste like this. It's really in a league of its own. Um, wow. Ah, that's got to be okay. I'm I'm calling it best non like milkshake. Uh, so they make a milkshake series of beers, which are kind of a culinary like experimentation beer. Um, those are sort of a whole different thing. But in terms of IPAs from Tired Hands, uh, I'm putting a stake in the ground. Uh, this is my favorite uh, IPA from Tired Hands. Oh man, it's so good. Wow. And it's, uh, get this, it is almost a month old already and it's just ripping through the glass. It's got layers of flavor. Right when it hits your tongue, you're getting, you're getting kind of the, the front fruit and then this like sort of malt wave happens and this beautiful like bitterness that is absolutely perfect to keep the beer balanced. Um, I mean, gosh, I hope, I'm gonna tag Moxa because Moxa is right near my house and I hope they can do this with their IPAs. Um, Corey, get some tired hands, check it out, expand your palate too, I hope you're always learning. Um, it's always a good thing to be doing. Uh, these guys just kill it with their, I mean, if Moxa could do this with their IPAs and what they're doing with their stouts, uh, we're definitely gonna have a world-class brewery in the neighborhood. So, anywho, sorry for the long video. That's all I got. Oh, I just burped and it tasted good. That's how you know, oh man. I, I kinda wish I had a four pack of this. Kyle, next time. The can feels like heavy too. All right, all kinds of weird stuff. Look at that. All right, I'm off to enjoy. I'll see you all later. Good night.